day in a row, students and staff at Falfurrias High School had to be evacuated after a threatening note was found in a school bathroom alleging there was a bomb on campus. After a search of the campus, it was determined to be a hoax. But tonight we have learned both DPS and even the FBI have been called in to assist in this case because of the number of threats local authorities have been called to the school for in just a very short amount of time. Our Bill Churchwell reports from Falfurias tonight. Police Chief John Garcia tells me his department is not taking these threats lightly. Thursday's bomb hoax is the latest in a series of threats at the high school, which now has the attention of both state and federal investigators. It was an on-campus officer who discovered the note in a school bathroom that prompted the evacuation and search of the school. It's sad that you know kids are trying to meet deadlines and they're not getting what they need because of, of these threats. Chief Garcia says the students were taken from the high school to the elementary campus as officers investigated the circumstances. We investigated to the full extent possible. Senior agent Glenn Folsom with the FBI out of Corpus Christi says his office is assisting local police. Since November 14th, Falfurias High School has received seven threats which have resulted in five evacuations and a massive amount of personnel and resources to investigate. Depending on the threat that comes in, that could be tactical teams, that could be bomb dogs, it could be bomb techs. It's going to be a significant number of investigators. Agent Folsom says even if it's a hoax, the person found to be responsible can still face serious charges. There's a number of criminal charges, uh, including state terroristic threat charges, which have been levied against even juveniles who have made threats to, uh, to schools or other organizations. Chief Garcia says he is grateful for the additional assistance in the case, but it will ultimately take the community's involvement to help solve it. Parents need to start asking their kids questions, get us uh, information if they can, and I think, you know, that, that they're going to come through and we're going to get to the bottom of this. And you are encouraged to report any information about these threats to local law enforcement. Reporting from Falfurios tonight, I'm Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, thank you, Bill. Two